Now we're going to take a short look at some of the conventions used for configuring options within the views interface. Generally speaking, when you want to change an option, you'll click on the link of the option you'd like to change. The form will appear down below in the configuration area. For example, let's say I wanted to change the style of this view from being unformatted to a table listing. I would click the option currently labeled unformatted. The options then appear down below. I'm going to change this from being unformatted to a table and watch carefully as the fields area currently saying that no fields are selected or can be added to this. When I click update, the fields area is now updated saying none defined and I'm receiving an error that I need to add at least one or more fields to this particular view because a table listing needs to have fields added to it in order to view properly. I haven't done anything wrong here, it's just saying you need to add some fields. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click the plus icon in the fields area saying I need to add a field. So when I click plus, I receive a list of all the fields down below that I could potentially add to this display. There also is a drop down select list that lets me filter to a certain section of all of the options. It doesn't actually change the options that are available, it's just filtering down the larger list currently displayed in all, when I select a category, it just filters down the list slightly so that I can select items more easily. I'm going to add the node title to this particular display and click add. After adding, it's going to ask me to configure the options for this particular field, such as I might want to link the title to the node and click update. Now down below, this is the first look at a view preview. This will update every time you change an option within views. The live preview will immediately be generated down below, showing you what your view is currently going to look like on the front end. Currently, we're only just showing the node titles displayed in a table. It's also handy to know that when you're configuring a view, you can add more than one option at a time. Such so if I were to go back up to the fields area, click the plus again to add more fields and then filter it down and add two more fields such as the node teaser and the updated date I can check both boxes at once and then click add then it will go through sequentially for the configuration option for each field that I've added I could remove the label for the teaser and click update and now I'm configuring the updated date, which I'll leave the label in place, and change the date format. And then scroll down below. Once again, my live preview has immediately been updated, now with the title, the teaser, and the updated date. At this point, you may want to change the order of these fields and put the updated date before the teaser. You can do this with the icon next to the plus which is the ordering button. We'll click it and then in the configuration area you can change the order of any of the fields within this section. So I can simply drag the crosshairs and drag an item up or down. It's also convenient to note there's a remove box over here on the right hand side. This makes it easy to remove multiple items all at once. I'm going to go ahead and click update to save the configuration of the order of these fields. And then once again, down below, we can see that my view has been updated to reflect the changed order of my fields. Finally, let's talk about overrides and how views can manage a default set of settings and also settings for each individual display. So far, I've been changing the settings within the default display, meaning that as I change these options, it's also changing the options within other sections, such as page and feed. For each one of these sections, 
items that are displayed in italics means that they're inheriting from the default display. Any item that is not in italics means that it's not inheriting and it's using its own customized settings. For each of the page in the feed sections, they've already been using an overridden set of options for style versus my defaults, which is using a table set of style. I can easily change any of these settings from being overridden to using display specific settings by clicking on the option and then down below looking at the status. The status is currently using the default values. If I wanted to change the page display to use 15 instead of 10 items, I could click the override button and then change this from 10 to 15, save the option, and now above, my items are no longer in italics, meaning that this display is using overridden options for the number of items to display per page, versus the feed display still is in italics using the default value of 10 items to display per page. Finally, if you ever need more help configuring view options, there's, this, there's a helpful question mark next to each one of these configuration areas that will open up the Advanced Help module. This icon only will appear if you've installed the Advanced Help module, which is recommended by Views. Clicking on this, it will open up a new window displaying the purpose of whatever option you've clicked on with an extensive description and help area, including an overview of all of Views broken down into categories and sections. When you're done configuring this display, you need to save the option before it can take effect. It's also helpful to note your items are automatically saved to a cache as you're updating them. So if you were to accidentally leave the, dis leave the page, such as clicking on another link, such as the front page, and then hitting back, it may appear that your changes are entirely lost, but they've been saved by views. You can easily reload this page to clear out your browser cache and you can see all of your changes have been saved while you are making updates. In order for your changes to become permanent you need to save the entire display by clicking the save button. Now all of our changes are saved to this particular view and that's an overview of the configuration options within views.